Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has one at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, today we've got Junior, but don't just sit there, my wee rocker. Come on, let's get moving, baby! <laughs> Someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Bobby. Yes, with Kai. Bobby. Hi, Granny Hello. Murray. <laughs> we have been having a great laugh playing air guitar, haven't we, Junior? Oh, wow. I love playing air guitar. Come on, Kai. Rock on. Oh, go for it, Bobby. <laughs> Why don't you dress Claude up as a pop star? Don't forget his guitar, boys. And we can rock and roll to the chairs, Bobby. Good yeah. idea. <laughs> Do you know what? Sometimes when I'm at work, I pretend to be a pop star. Come on, baby. Yeah, rock on, baby. Yeah, rock on, baby. Woo! Come on, baby. Oh, darling, what a rocker. But what I love most about singing in the depot is because it's so big, you get these brilliant echoes. Echoes, echoes, echoes. <laughs> I love them. Echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. Spooky, spooky. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Sorry. 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 Oh. Sorry. <laughs> look, I really think I'd better get off to work. Oh, will you look at Claude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Claude, you look cool, man. Dear <laughs> Mummy, I want you to play the best when you're at work. Oh, Let's thanks, see. Kai. You ready? Come on, baby. <laughs> Woohoo! What's it? Rock on, baby. I'll play this and I will think of you. Oh, come here, give us a hug. Mm. I'll see you in the morning. Come on. Bye. Now remember, echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Well, you keep a wee eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city view Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms I'm singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walk in time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Hey! Oh, OK, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. I look in this way and that away. Oh, hello, digger. Hello, drain. Oh, hello, lamppost. Hello, train. Hello, post box. Ooh, hello, plane! She's on her way to work today Looking this way and that's a way Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! OK, that way, up the steps! You told me the way I go Thank you! You showed me the way I know OK, I've arrived at work. What's next? Mm-hmm, that's right. I need to change into those work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. 
<laughs> I wonder if I could really play the guitar. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Bobby and the Buses! Woo! Oh, whoop, that makes an echo. What a cool sound. It's a bit like playing guitar and having your very own backing band. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Bobby and the Buses with her amazing band. Group Echo! Come on, baby! I said, Rock on, baby! Woohoo! Come on, baby! I said, Rock on, baby! Oh, <laughs> hello, Dr. Juno. <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> Just messing about a bit. How are you? Absolutely exhausted. Oh, you poor thing. I've had such a hard day. I was worried I'd fall asleep peddling my bike. So, I thought I'd come and see you and ask for a quick cup of tea to revive me for the journey home. Of course. <laughs> After you. Oh, make yourself comfy and I'll bring you up a nice cup of... Oh, you angel. You just relax there. Oh, I could flop here all night. How's Kai? Kai? Oh, he's a star. <laughs> all safe and snug with Granny Murray. <laughs> Do you like to be an echo? Okay, okay. Hello! Hello! <laughs> I'm silly! I'm silly! Woo, Kai! Woo, Kai! Your mummy had an echo at the bus depot too. Mummy! Oh, mummy! I'm thinking of you, mummy. Oh, Kai. <laughs> What on earth is that noise? <laughs> hey, Dr. Juno, can you hear that funny no... <sighs> oh, look! It's Dr. Juno. Oh, she's fallen asleep. And she's snoring. <laughs> um, Dr. Juno? <laughs> Dr. Juno, wakey-wakey! Huh? Oh, what's the emergency? Oh, Bobby. Sorry, I was dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> you were snoring. I don't snore. Oh, well, if you weren't snoring, you were making a really funny sort of a noise, just like this. <laughs> Was I doing that? Yes, oh. you were. Well, that's not snoring exactly. No? No, oh, it was the air I was breathing in causing a vibration of the soft palate of the roof of my mouth, resulting in a hoarse noise. Mm. Vibration, eh? Well, I'd really better get back to work. Oh. And I'd better go home and get to bed before I fall asleep again. <laughs> oh, thanks for the cup of tea. And the nap. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome. Bye. Bye. Right, time for me to get on with some hard work. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the bosses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming bus. The day away, swinging to the city, looking pretty and radiant. The hot caps gleam, the paintwork shines. A river sea double decker looks so fine. The driver she drives, collecting the fares. Leaving then arriving, she will get you there. This boss is stopping, from picking up and putting down. This boss is shining, it's the talk of the town. Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead <sighs> That's that done Bobby? Oh, oh, Mickey John, you made me jump. 
Sorry. I was uh, just wondering if you'd seen Nurse Hendry. No, I don't think so. Why? Well, he was supposed to be getting the bus to my place for supper and a game of billiards, but uh, he never turned up. Well, I think they were quite busy down the hospital tonight. Maybe he's just got held up. Yeah, that's probably it. Well, I'm sorry to trouble you. Say hi to Kai for me. I will. Bye! <laughs> Mickey John says hi, Kai. Hey, it must be nearly time for you to go to sleep. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Dance to your daddy, sing to your mummy, dance to your daddy, to your mummy, sing. Thou shall have a fishy on a little dishy, thou shall have a fishy when the boat comes in. My mummy would say this song. Would she, darling? What are you doing now, mummy? What on earth is that noise? Oh, that is spooky! Oh, no, I don't like that noise at all. It's scary. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether I should run or scream. What could be making a noise like this? Where did the time go? At five o'clock, I took Kai to stay with Granny Murray. We had great fun playing air guitar. I told Granny Murray that when I sing at the depot, there's a brilliant echo, and Kai gave me a toy guitar to bring to work. At six o'clock, I was playing with the toy guitar when I noticed that my singing was echoing around the bus depot. It sounded amazing. Dr Juno was so exhausted cycling home from work that she called in for a cup of tea. At seven o'clock, I heard a funny noise. It was Dr Juno. She'd fallen asleep and she was snoring. At eight o'clock, I'd just finished some hard work when Mickey John called in to ask if I'd seen Nurse Hendry. He'd been supposed to be getting the bus to see him, but he hadn't turned up. At nine o'clock, I was getting on with my work when I heard this really spooky noise. Now I don't know what to do because it's really frightening me. Now remember, echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. Echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. Well, that certainly sounds spooky. But maybe it's just an ordinary noise, like Dr Juno snoring. Yeah! Yeah, that is a snore. Definitely um, an echoey snore. Somebody must be fast asleep here in the bus depot. I've just got to find out who it is and where they are. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it, I've got to do the job on time I'm Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, it shows me how fast she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna do it She's going to do it I'm gonna beat that clock Nurse Hendry, wakey wakey. What? Is it time to take. Bobby? Am I dreaming? Where am I? You're on a bus, asleep and snoring. I <laughs> never snore. Oh, of course not. I don't. Oh, right. Uh, I suppose it was just a, a result of the air that you were breathing in, you know, um, causing a vibration on the roof of the soft palate of your mouth. Exactly. I worked so hard all day and I'm so tired. I must have fallen asleep on my way to Mickey John. Hello? Hello, Mickey John. I've been wondering where you got to. Mystery solved. He was asleep. Oh, you must have been really exhausted to fall asleep on a bus and miss your stop totally. How did you know he was here? He was... vibrating. You mean he was snoring? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll drive you home. Bye, boy. Thanks, Bobby. Bye. Hey, I wonder if my little boy is snoring. Sleep well, little one. 
Mummy will be here in the morning. I wish I was with you, Mum. Have you had a great time? You betcha! I think you should give Granny Murray a big thank you hug, don't you? Thank oh, you. Oh, come here, yeah. my treasure! <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> come on, time to get home. Oh, come on, Kai. Let's go. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle, let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, making, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, flight, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. But what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a pop star because we were having a great time listening to music and playing air guitar. Claude looked really cool. Bobby and I had a good laugh talking about echoes and Kai gave Bobby a toy guitar to take to work. Later on, Kai and I played an echo game and then at bedtime, I sang Kai a lullaby. He really loved that. When I went to check on Kai later, he was snoring softly and sleeping peacefully. And when Bobby came to pick him up in the morning, she told me that she had remembered what I said about echoes making ordinary noises sound spooky and it had saved the day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got home and we've got Molly. But don't just sit there, my wee spring chickens. Come on, let's have some fun. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Papers. Yes, papers. Bring them over. That's the way. You scrunch that one into a bowl. And a wee bit more on. Eight round it. That looks perfect. Who's good at catching a ball? Yes? Okay. Good catch. Back to Granny Murray. Molly? Good girl. That's the way. Whoa, that was a high one. Well, we've got Hope and we've got Molly. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes. It's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello there. Mickey John. Hello. <laughs> and Rebecca. Come away through my honey pie. You doing it by yourself? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> fingers. <laughs> We've been playing with a paper ball. Hey, we've got a football match at school later. My class versus Mrs Pike's class. Oh, it'll be like the World Cup final. Oh, football, eh? Oh, that gives me a good idea. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a footballer, eh? He can be the goalkeeper. Hey. And uh, Mickey John, hit the ball. Oh, <laughs> down the wing, Granny Murray. Your ball. Come on. Goal! Oh. <laughs> oh, great shot, Granny Murray. You win the match. <laughs> I don't suppose you fancy playing in my team, do you? I could use a good goal scorer. <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't have a puff. Oh, yes, you've got to be very fit to play football. I've been out training with my team every lunchtime. Oh, and what about Miss Pike? Miss Pike's out training every lunchtime and every day after school. They're fit as fiddles. Well, it should be a good match. Well, it's going to be a hard game to win. Miss Pike has a lot of the best players. She's got uh, Ronnie Bickerstaff, she's got Elizabeth Tamworth and uh, Reggie Thornton. Oh, they could easily beat us. Oh, well, it's only a game and it's only for fun. Only a game? Yes, you mustn't take a game too seriously. <laughs> oh, look at Claude. Oh, Claude, you look like a professional goalkeeper. <laughs> oh, <laughs> great save, Claude. Did you see his lightning reflexes? <laughs> Come on, you. 
Off to your work. Okay. Oh, look at this. A miniature football. That can be our mascot in the game today. Bye bye, sweetheart. Have fun with Granny Murray. <laughs> Come on, you. Now remember, it's only a game and it's only for fun. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. If you keep a wee eye on Mickey John, make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today. Walking my shoes through the city views. Stepping along and swinging my arms. Singing my way through the city's charms. Getting there is just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, right, to the school. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple. Hello, walls. Hello, people! Da -da. On his way to work today. Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Okay, that way. Up! You told me the way to go. Thank you! You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now, what have I got to do? Ah, yes. Time for a tie. All dressed and ready to go. Ah, hi, old Mickey John. Are you ready for the match? Oh, yes. I'm really excited. I can't wait for the match to start. Come on, you reds! <laughs> hey, look, I brought you some uh, tops that your team might like to wear. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Bobby. So, are you coming along to see the match? You bet. I'm going to be there with me scarf. Although, I'm not really sure yet which team I'm going to be supporting. You what? Well, you know, I'm a big fan of Miss Pikes. She's really sporty. And her children are brilliant at games, especially that Vicky Beckham. She's always scoring goals. Yeah, yeah, but I got Geordie Ross on my team. Now, that's what you call a good goalie. Whoa! Brilliant save by Geordie Ross. <laughs> well, anyway, we'll see, we'll see. Listen, I've got to go because I'm going to be late for picking Kai up from nursery. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Hmm. I'd better work on my team plan for the match. <sighs> it's Mickey John's team on the attack. Quick one, two, an overhead shot. It's a goal! <laughs> I wish you were playing on my team, Bex. I love to skip in river singing. I'd love to have seen that. What are you doing now, Daddy? <laughs> Maybe we can play football at the weekend, Rebecca. Hi, Mickey John. Oh, hello, Raymond. <laughs> are the trains running today? No, I've got the day off. Actually, I've just dropped off Lisa to have a look around the school. Ah, oh, yes, it's buddy day today. That's it. One of the older pupils is showing her the ropes. What was her name again? Elizabeth Tamsworth, <laughs> ah. the one that's really good at football. Yeah, and who plays for Miss Pike's team. Don't remind me. Yeah. Well, seeing as I have the day off, I was thinking of showing Granny Murray and Rebecca around the costume store in the garage. Do you reckon Rebecca would like that? Oh, Rebecca would love that, but I think Granny Murray's taken her for a kickabout round the park. Oh. Well, they won't be very long doing that. Not when it starts raining, anyway. Oh, it's not going to rain. It can't. We've got a football match to play. 
Oh, well, if you say so. Well, I'll go and see Granny Murray. Cheerio. Bye. Oh, there's the bell. And here comes my class. Morning. How are you doing? Morning. Morning. Morning, right now. Morning. 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 Right, class, we're going to work really hard this morning, so we're all ready to play football this afternoon. And that means me too. It's time to get down to some hard work. Oh, I work with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day. To count and teach him to read, learn about birds and plants and seeds, playing games and sports outdoors, blowing my whistle and keeping the score. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. We're learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. Oh, the secretary's smiling as she does her organizing. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. In the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. He's learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. All oh, the children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books. The good ones get a smiley. Joy when I go to school in the morning. Well done, everyone. You've all worked really hard this morning, so I'll see you this afternoon out on the football pitch. Off you go. Oh, it's time for me to get ready. I better go off into the team changing room. Oh, I love dressing up for football, and I'm going to love this match. I wonder if you're dressing up too, Rebecca. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Wow, girls, give us a twiddle. <gasps> oh, fantastic. Are you having fun dressing up in Raymond's costumes? Me too. <laughs> oh. oh, Raymond, can Rebecca try that one on? Yeah, let's see how you look in this, Rebecca. <laughs> Come on, my darling, let's see you. <gasps> Look at you. You could have a part in one of Raymond and Tina's shows. Do you think your dad would like to see you in this? Yeah. <laughs> Wish me luck in the match, Rebecca. Oh, I'd better go and check the pitch. Oh, it's going to be a great match. Come on, you Reds! Oh, oh no! Oh, it's raining, just like Raymond said. I was so looking forward to the game. Mickey John's class versus Miss Pike's class. Oh, now it's pouring with rain. How are we going to play our game? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. We played with a paper football and it was fun. And the children dressed Claude as a goalkeeper. I told Granny Murray all about the big match. My class against Miss Pike's class. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Bobby dropped off some football shirts for my team, but she wasn't sure which team to support. She said that Miss Pike's team have some really good players. At nine o'clock, Raymond called by to ask if Rebecca would like to see some of his theater costumes. As he went, he said it looked like it was going to rain. At 12 o'clock, my class went off for lunch and I got changed into my football kit. I was really excited about the match and I really wanted my class to win. At one o'clock, I ran out onto the football pitch and slipped in the mud. It started to rain. My class will never beat Miss Pike's class if we can't even play the game. Now remember, it's only a game and it's only for fun. It's only a game and it's only for fun. Granny Murray's right. I'm taking this all far too seriously. If we can't play outside because of the rain, well, we'll just have to make our fun indoors. But it's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it I gotta do the job on time 
like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that pong, I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Right, is my team all ready? Yes. Miss Pike, your team ready? Yes. Okie doke. Hang on, don't stop without me. Ooh. Come on, you reds. And uh, come on, you blues. <laughs> right, time for the kickoff. I don't really know. Doesn't matter though. We all had fun, that's the main thing. Right, everyone, off you go to the changing rooms. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Goal! <laughs> I wonder if you managed to play football, Rebecca. Raymond's got the ball. Oh, <laughs> and he passes it to anybody. And a dribble. Oh, 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 You've had a lovely time. Yeah. Oh, we certainly did. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, my special girl. <laughs> You're good as gold. <laughs> and it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying it's only a game and it's only for fun. Save the day. <gasps> I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Come on, you two. Ho, ho. <laughs> Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a goalkeeper because we made a paper football today. And when Mickey John dropped off Rebecca, he told how he was really looking forward to the big match at school. His class were playing Miss Pike's class. I took the children to play ball in the park. Later, Raymond invited us to see his theatre costumes at the garage. We had such fun dressing up. Then we had a game of paper football outside the garage when it stopped raining. <laughs> I can't remember who won because we were all wearing different costumes but it was only a game and only for fun and that's what Mickey John found out too when the rain made him play his big match in the classroom. Oh! <laughs> Goal! Woohoo! I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye honey pie. <laughs> Down to the city, the city. where the fairy box stands the blue. Time to call on Granny Murray.